Hong Kong seeks to end the honeymoon with crypto exchanges. Next on your four minute Bitcoin. Today's show is from a post by Joseph Young at Cointelegraph and brought to you by Swan Bitcoin. Today, Reuters reported that Hong Kong regulators will propose all cryptocurrency exchanges be regulated and that they apply for Securities and Futures Commission license, as opposed to the previous opt-in approach, which many exchanges declined to do. This comes a year after the Hong Kong government released rules for cryptocurrency exchanges. On November 3rd, Ashley Alder, the chief executive of the Securities and Futures Commission, said, This is a significant limitation, as under the current legislation fr framework, if an exchange is really determined to operate completely off the regulatory radar, it can do so simply by ensuring that its traded crypto assets are not within the legal definition of a security, and continued by saying, we can declare Bitcoin's honeymoon phase to be over. Despite the subtle wording of the Securities and Futures Commission's statement, industry expert says it's essentially a declaration to end Bitcoin. Leo Weiss, the co-founder of the Bitcoin Association of Hong Kong, said that with rumors of more cryptocurrency exchange officials arrested in China and Hong Kong's move to make trading illegal, we can declare Bitcoin's phase to be over. And he continued by saying, if you think Bitcoin will catch on, buy it now while you still can. Kevin Ko, a partner at the Asia-based cryptocurrency investment firm Spartan Group, said, The timing is not a coincidence. It comes after the pilot launch of China's digital currency electronic payment system, which has already processed over 4 million transactions. Then he explained that the People's Republic of China, well, they're sending a strong message about its stance on cryptocurrencies other than China's national digital currency. I guess now if you live in Hong Kong, and you want some Bitcoin, you better buy it now while you still can. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And this episode is brought to you by Swan Bitcoin. Now, I recommend Swan Bitcoin to all my friends, boomers and not boomers. All of them that are interested in Bitcoin, that is. I'm an advisor to Swan, so of course, I'm going to think it's a great way to buy Bitcoin using dollar cost averaging. While you can get some skin in the game, basically, it's, it's really kind of amazing how much and how quickly people start learning about Bitcoin once they get a little skin in the game, whether it's $10 a month, $10 a week, or whatever. So use my referral link, swanbitcoin.com slash Gary, and receive $10 worth of Bitcoin as a reward. I'm Gary Leland, the Bitcoin Boomer, and thanks for joining me on another Four Minute Bitcoin Show. This is a bitblockboom.com production.